Hey guys, it's Kira from Kira from Drink Cups and the Royal Stinting Fan Channel. Um, so I'm sorry this is very late, but you're probably used to it by now because I'm always late. But um, this is my video vlog for season three, episode two of Warehouse 13. Um, so it started off pretty awesome, you know. My good P wake up in bed together, but soon realize that it wasn't on purpose. Sorry, Pike Shippers. And, um, so throughout the episode, it's pretty much these two stories. One is Pete and Micah trying to find out why they ended up in bed together naked, and Micah was blonde. And then, um, Artie and Claudia, and Vanessa, played by Lindsay Wagner, which, if you remember, um, was the, was Artie's little love interest, the warehouse doctor and stuff played by Lindsay Wagner. So she comes back. So they're trying to figure out this warehouse case about this like artifact that turns people into clay and because she works at the CDC. And so they're trying to figure it out. But then Artie asked Hugo gonna help, to come help them. But then he comes and then they realize that Hugo and Vanessa had a little, you know, thing when they were working at the warehouse, so they're being all lovey-dovey, and Artie's off to the side all, like, depressed, and Claudia's like, doesn't matter, she probably still likes you, and he's like, no, and it was just really depressing, but, um, so meanwhile, like, they don't, Pete and Micah don't know where Steve is, and they're trying to, like, keep it from Artie that they, you know, that whole thing happened, so they're walking around, they find, like, artifact disturbances, and as they're walking around, they figure out, they, like, start putting pieces together. Like, they were, um, this one artifact, like, made them drunk, so they were all, like, fooling around with all the artifacts, like Marilyn Monroe's hairbrush, which it's makes you blonde. Bad. So that's how Micah became blonde. And Steve was like, guys, what are you doing? You shouldn't be messing with this. You shouldn't be drunk in the warehouse and stuff. And they're like, oh my gosh, just a poopy pants, Steve. And um, so they're fooling around. And then finally, they get to the bronzing room. Oh yeah, they did. And um, like Pete puts these shoes in the, the bronzer. And then he's like, oh my god, Steve, can you go get my shoes? And so he goes in there, and then they close the door, and they bronze him. Yeah, not good. So then, um, they try and debronze him after, but then they don't have a DNA sample, so they try and find, like, the toothbrush, because they ended up, like, Artie's toothbrush was in the bed. So then, like, after all this, Micah realizes that they, that when they got, ugh, this is hard, they went to Artie's bedroom, and then she told Pete to take off all his clothes, so she would wake up, and she would get all freaked out and like spend all day trying to prove that that didn't happen. So while proving, while trying to prove that that didn't happen, she would figure out what they did and debron Sam. Uh, Steve. Why did I call him Sam? I'm sorry. But yeah, I don't, I don't really know how she could have thought of all that while she was, you know, drunk. But that's that's what happened. So. Good thing they figured it out, and they debronze Steve and acted like nothing happened. Meanwhile, um, it turns out the guy with the artifact, um, he worked at this computer store, but then he was looking at, like, girls getting naked in their bedrooms on the internet or something, and his boss found out and fired him, but then he hacked into the store and stuff and locked everyone in, and then, like, somehow the, the virus transferred the, from the necklace like through the screens into all the people so they had like six hours to live and so they're all like oh shit what do we do so um uh but hugo has the virus and already covered vanessa's eyes oh but um so hugo has the virus and he's trying to help them and claudia has to go and leave and try and find the dude who has the artifact so she's chasing after him and like jumping over a building that seems bad ass um so they're trying to figure it out and vanessa gets like really sick like, way sicker than the others, and people's hands start turning into clay, and then Hugo's eyes turn into clay, and they can't figure it out what's going on. Then Claudia finally finds the dude, and, um, gets the artifact, and 
and so she comes back and like this awesome Artie does this awesome thing with this like ink and he splats on the wall and it goes through the window. Anyway, what point is they have the artifact. Artie wears it, but then Hugh goes like, Well, there's no telling what will happen to the person wearing the artifact and so he looks back at Vanessa and he's like, Take care of her so he's like sacrificing himself for Vanessa. Yeah. And but nothing actually happens to him, of course, because he's a new character. Like, but um, yes. Then, like the thing, you know, does its thing, and they all are back to normal and stuff. And Claudia is all ha everyone's happy. And then they're at the scene or whatever, and the police are there. And um, uh, Vanessa comes over, and he's like, "Oh well, I'm sorry. You know, I hope you and Hugo are very happy together." And it's okay if we don't go on our dinner date or whatever. And she's like, no, I'm not leaving. Na, na, na. And she's like, you're wonderful. And I'd love to go to dinner. And then she kisses him on the cheeks and walks away. And Claudia's like totally being like a fangirl. And she's like saying in the back of the car like, yeah. And then she runs away so he doesn't see. And so yeah, that was the end of it. And it was pretty, it's a pretty good episode. Yes. And also I'm sure you've, watched all my pointless blo video blogs about Comic Con, but if you haven't, because probably you're like, what is this, I don't want to watch it. Um, I had a really great time at Comic Con, it was super amazing, I got to meet a ton of awesome people, like internet friends I had never met and I only know over Twitter, and like some of my favorite actors, like I met Skylar Samuels, and that's from Nine Lines of Chloe King, and so I have to pushing my bangs out of my face because they're really long. Um, I didn't get into the World's 13 panel, but I did actually meet Allison Scaliotti and Eddie McClintock. I met Allison at the Her Universe panel, and she was really awesome as usual. And I met Eddie at the Lightspeed art, fine art booth when he was signing autographs. I didn't pay 30 bucks for an autograph because I'm not going to pay for 30 bucks. Like, who charges that much? That was so ridiculous. Anyway, um, so yeah, I met him, he was really cool. I got a picture, but I don't have it right now. And um, uh, my awesome friend Amanda, I should have just made a separate video for her because she's just so freaking awesome. Um, she, uh, she, I was really upset that I didn't get to the World's 13 panel and she saw me and she was like, oh my god, Kira, just wait for me out here outside of the press room. And so she went in and she was in there for a while and then she came back out and she told me that she got shoutouts for me from like the whole cast, except for Allison, but that doesn't matter. Really Sorry, anyway. But um, so she like shot videos of shoutouts for me, and like a few days after she edited them, put them, posted them on my post, posted them on my Facebook page. Why am I having so much trouble talking? And it was just like amazing, and I'm so grateful to have an awesome friend like Amanda, who did this for me and took time out of her schedule to do this. And to the awesome Warehouse 13 cast who actually, you know, like watches my videos and knows who I am and appreciates me and stuff. So that was like one of the most amazing things ever. So thank you guys so much and thank you for watching this video until the end because it was like eight minutes of me rambling. So remember to watch Warehouse 13. That is actually in two days now. Yeah. So it's on sci-fi at nine. Yeah. Bye, guys.